All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Multiplex Movie Warzone. With me, I got um, partner in crime, Dylan Van Thine, uh, and uh, we got ourselves a good match today. We got Matt Quaylar going up against John Marr. Uh, Matt coming off a pretty impressive run in the tournament, and John coming off a pretty impressive victory between uh, Cameron Redshaw. Uh, Dylan. What do you think we got in store for us today? Yeah, I think this should be a good one. I mean, both these guys obviously trying to get closer to that title shot in this uh, little title picture we got going. Yeah, I mean, old school versus new school. That's always exciting. Should be a good one. Couldn't have said it better myself. Let's go ahead and bring in our competitor, uh, John Moore, along with his manager, Caleb Coho. Uh, let's, move, let's move that. So what do you guys got to say for today? So first, I want to say this is an insane place to be as a rookie. Uh, that, that we got we got to this position is huge. You pulled off something that not a lot of people have been able to do, uh, and now we got to play Matt. And and as much as I think Matt is cool, uh, Matt's done this too many times to win. Uh, at this, at what point do you just have to decide, Matt, that enough's enough? <laughs> This is the best you can do is get to this point. And I think you should just you should just step aside. Let us have our shot. Let the new school do our thing. Uh, and I think John, who's already solidified himself, the rookie of the year, no competition at this point, uh, is just going to keep blazing a legacy with this record that we're making in the first month. Yeah, I've done all I can. You know, I've studied all I can. Uh, let's let it fly. That's how I feel. An absolute jinx over here, folks. I love yeah, it. Yeah, the, the jinx. All righty. All right. Well said. We'll go ahead and take out Caleb Coho and we'll bring in your your competitor, your other competitor tonight, Matt, along with this guy as his manager. Hi. Mike. Oh, Mike. So we find ourselves here in the fifth round of the tournament. This thing just will not end. But I thought I thought it was the 20th round. Shit. I mean, it, it, it's getting there. But, uh, you know, I mean, we're going we're gonna to keep doing what we do. Uh, we're going to pimp the video store while we're doing it. Of course. Make sure we Buy see our some shit. customers that way, for sure. Uh, John, I think he's been on a great run. Um, but uh, I guess I have to try to bring that to an end, I guess. I do ask that Coho put some sleeves on because he's scaring the women away. We can't have that. That's the new school thing. <laughs> great contrib contribution, you guys. All right. <laughs> Matt. All right. Sorry. Mike. Stick around for it later. So, all right. Okay, guys. We're going to start of round number one or our whiteboard round, which is really like every whiteboard round in any trivia format. You're going to get eight different questions from eight general movie categories. You'll have 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. At, that, at the end of that time period, you will then reveal and verbalize your answer. You get a point for each correct answer. Get all eight right. You get a bonus question. You'll also get three repeats and a challenge to be used throughout the match. Either you have any questions before we get going. I'm the sorry. match is really blurry. Yeah, I am kind of a little bit blurry, aren't I? Yeah. Well, uh, there we go. Now we can see it. You're not really skipping around, so I don't, why don't we just get going? Yeah. We get started your first question in the category of classics. Who stars as Manny Balestr Ballestero? Let me start over. Who stars as Manny Ballestero in 1956's *The Wrong Man*? I hope they I hope they write the right answer, and not the wrong man. <laughs> this is all I got. Anyways, good, if that's the only thing you say. It'll be great. All right, five, Sweet. four, three. <laughs> Two, one. All right, pens down. We'll be starting with Matt. I think Jimmy Stewart made movies in the 50s. All right, John. I tried to write Frank Sinatra, and I wrote Fra Frack Sinat, so there you go. Both aren't correct. We are looking for Henry Fonda. All right. Dylan? Yeah, so your next question comes in the category of action slash adventure. In what 80s action film do two L.A. detectives who go up against a group of drug dealers that are ex-military? Uh, 
you know, Dylan? You look like a military man. Can you tell me something about that? Uh, no, but I'm a big fan of the Death Grips album X Military. So <laughs> four, three, two. I really set you up badly. One. All right, <laughs> pens down. Uh, start off with John. Tango and Cash. All right, and Matt. I also said Tango and Cash. Uh, both are incorrect. We have uh, the answer we have is Lethal Weapon. Oh, they are X Military. Those guys. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to your next category in Oscars. Name one of the two Oscars that Ghost won. How many Oscars have you ever won, Mark? Uh, one too many. Yeah. Just swimming next, in gold. Yeah. Yeah. Next question, I'll tell you which one. Five, okay, cool. four, three, two, and one. Pens down. All right, uh, star of Matt. Best Supporting Actress. And uh, John. Best Supporting Actress. Both correct. Yep, so your next question comes in the category of sci-fi fantasy. Where do John Spartan and Simon Phoenix meet for the first time in Demolition Man? So which Oscar did you win then? Oh yeah, I gotta keep that going. Uh, I want I want one costume design. I could really design some costumes. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. All right. Start with John. Prison. And Matt. A warehouse. Both are incorrect. Uh, the answer we have is museum. All right. That's where they meet in the future. That's not where they first meet at the beginning of the film. Would you like to challenge? Sure, why not? I mean, mine's not right either, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so you are challenging. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to throw that question out. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at this, and we'll be right back with that challenge. All right, we are back from that challenge. Uh, it turns out the... Wording we had in the question was was incorrect. The answer was also incorrect. It was just a bad question all around. So we just threw that puppy out, and uh, we give these guys a new one. So uh, Dylan, yeah, and Matt will be keeping his challenge because of that. Yes, also that yeah. the yeah. real victory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so your new question in sci-fi fantasy. In contact, it is discovered that the aliens' first exposure to humans was a speech by what historical figure? been mistaken for a historical figure yes movie trivia sensation dylan van <laughs> Three, two, one. all right pens down all right uh let's get started with john i just put george washington all righty matt i put hitler hitler is correct we, we, we will accept Hitler. all right moving on your next category I mean, next question, the category thriller. My God. All right. What 70s thriller revolves around a group of actors who are being hunted down after filming a fake Mars landing for the government? Have you ever filmed a fake Mars landing for the government? Why are you bringing that up? We're online. I mean, now the government's going to be watching us. Shit. Right. The whole thing. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. All right, uh, start with John. I don't know. The Andromeda strain? All right, then let's go for Matt. Yeah, I couldn't pull anything. All right, both are incorrect. The correct answer is Capricorn 1. Hmm. I'll watch that one, too. There we go. <laughs> so your next question comes in the category of movie release dates. What year was 25th Hour released? Years and numbers. Wait, can we bring up years or will that give stuff away? No. We can't bring up years. If they don't if they can't name a year though, I'd be very concerned for them. <laughs> Three, two, one. That's correct. All right, pens down. Uh, let's go with uh, Matt. 
2002. And John? It's a great book, 2002. All right, both correct. All right, moving on to your next question in the category of biopics. In order to keep working, Judy Garland starts performing in what country in Judy? A lot of things we can say. But will we say them? Probably not. No, I don't, I don't think so. All right. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. All right. Pens down. All right. Let's go to Matt. England? And John? Canada? England is correct. So then we will go into your final question of round number one, which comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. In an effort to describe love, Ron starts singing what song in Anchorman? Love Smooth. Watched it a lot as a kid. Oh, that's amazing. I watched it. <laughs> My favorite Will Ferrell movie, which I didn't think until I entered here, which was a spicy take, apparently. I don't know. All right, it's five, four, three, two. Some people, one. All right, pens down. All right, start with John. Afternoon Delight. And Matt. Skyrockets in Flight. Afternoon Delight. Both are correct. And then off round one, correct answers. Uh, I have Matt with five and John with three. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yes. All righty, great. We will now move on to round number two, or as it is, the wheel round. Uh, which uh, each competitor will get a chance to spin our wheel. Uh, they like what they spin on the first time. They... They can go with it, or if not, they can elect to spin again, where they will get five questions. But sorry, they if they land on the second time, they gotta take it. But then they will get five questions, two points apiece, or they can check down for one point apiece. There is stealing, so you know you've been warned. Uh, categories on tonight's wheel: we have John Strengths of Oscar-nominated Jack Lemmon and post-1970 horror anthologies along with Matt Strengths of David Fincher and recent releases, along with general categories in family, musicals, comic book movies, and sci-fi fantasy, as well as, with ac God, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. You know what's on the wheel, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and bring in Matt's manager since he is ahead. Would you like to spin first or defer? Mark, are you fucking wearing suspenders right now? <laughs> I don't know why you're asking me anything. Be careful, my gun could be a holster. Those are gun holsters. 100%. Uh, we well, don't have his guns doing? out, though, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah. What are you feeling, Mike? Uh, I'd say go second. Yeah, I think that's a solid strategy. Let's go for Fuck it. it. All right. we. I guess we will be fucking it. And, uh, bring in Caleb Coho. And uh, we will... Uh, this will be John Spin. It's a problematic action for Mike Henley. Um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll. All right. Land on comic book movies. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I'd spin again, personally. I'll, I'll spin again. I'll take my yeah. chance. Yeah. All right. You will be stuck with this category. And it will land on in oh, your strength, the post 1970s horror Beautiful. anthologies. You got the screw. All <laughs> right. Let's, uh, get, let's get Coho out of here. Let's get the wheel out of here. And Dylan, I know you're a horror guy. Would you like to ask these questions? Sure. All right, John, your first question in post-1970 horror anthologies. In the Dante the Great segment of VHS Viral, what item does Dante get which used to belong to Harry Houdini? A cloak. That okay. is correct for two points. What is the name of Major William Rogers' dog in the Blind Alley's segment of Tales from the Crypt? I need multiple on that. All right. Your options are A, Shane, B, Frank, C, Stan, or D, Fred. Repeat the options. All right. Your options again are A, Shane, B, Frank, C, Stan, or D, Fred? Shane? That is correct for one point. Okay. 
Who plays Ray Spruce, the co-owner of Dead River's General Store in Creep Show 2? George Kennedy. That is correct for two points. <clears throat> what is the name of the retirement home in the Kick the Can segment of Twilight Zone the movie? I'm going to do multiple on this one. Okay. Your options are A, Sunnyvale, B, Green Acres, C, Windham Grove, or D, Roving Park. A. That is correct for one point. And your final question in this category. In XX's segment, Her Only Living Son, Cora first gets the idea that her son may not be human from a man with what prof profession? Sorry. Five, four, three. A doctor. Two. That is incorrect. So Matt for the two point steal. I know the answer. Um, a teacher. That is also incorrect. We were looking for a postal worker. I didn't know if it was him or the doctor. Yeah. All right. Uh, that I have John getting a score up to nine. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yep. All righty. That will bring back up the wheel along with uh, Matt's manager. And uh, we will uh, do your spin. Love the math mustache, Mark. Keeping the fucking wheel. Good shit. Got it. All right. Here's your first spin. And, man, just love this category. We land on comic book movies. Would you like to keep that mad spin again? You're a superhero, Mark? <laughs> I, I have seen a lot of superhero movies, more so than some of the categories on this wheel. So I feel like it might be safe to stick with it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, let's Don't go fuck it. it. All righty. Take uh, it all my candy out of here. And uh, I will ask you your questions in comic book movies, Matt. Are you prepared for that? Let's do it. All righty. Start off your first question. How many people have directed more than one MCU film to date? Give you a little bit extra time with this one. Five. Two, five. One. That is incorrect. Going over to John for the two point steal. Four? That is also incorrect. We're looking for seven. Seven. Yeah. All right. Did you count the Russo brothers as one or two people? The Russos are two people. Okay. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious. They are not one person. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, now your next question. In Scott Pilgrim versus the World, Ramona Flowers works for what company? Amazon. That's correct for two points. All right, next question. In what decade does Snowpiercer take place? Five, four, three, 2040s. Two, Say 2040s? Yeah. All right. That is incorrect. Uh, going over to John for the two point steal. The 2050s. That's also incorrect. You went the wrong way. Is the 2050s? Oh. <laughs> Damn. All right. Next question What is the name of the gang that helps the penguin run for mayor in Batman Returns? Uh, multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice options are A, red triangle, B, green circle, C, blue square, or D, black diamond. Hmm. 
red triangle. That's correct for one point. All right, your final question in the category of comic movies. Lamont Cranston is the real name for what comic book movie hero? The Shadow. That is correct for two points. All right, with that, I have uh, Matt getting a score up to 10, and uh, John uh, failing to get any score opportunity stays at 9. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yep. All righty. We will now move on to round number three, which is the pick your poison round. The competitors have been given a list of categories before the match. Uh, they will be able to pick from those categories and given questions at values of one, two, three, and four points. The categories they will be, uh, be able to pick from tonight are 2000s, horror, romance, westerns, 2010s, comedy, 1980s, and directors. Well, we'll take a little break, get, have these uh, competitors uh, pick their questions, and then hopefully we'll be back to finish this one out. All right, and we're back. Uh, competitors have picked their categories. Uh, Matt has chosen his one in horror, his two in 2010s, his three in comedy, and his four in 2000s. John has picked his one in 2000s, his two in comedy, his three in 1980s, and his four in horror. All right. Uh, we will uh, Yeah, we'll go until yeah, we run out of questions. Somebody is mathematically eliminated. Uh, John, you are behind, so we will start with you. And uh, since Dylan asked you your uh, round two questions, I will ask your round three questions. So then, uh, are you prepared to answer your one pointer in 2000s? Yes. All righty. Who plays Dewey Cox in Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story? John C. Riley. That is correct for one point. The... All right, so then we will go over to Matt's one pointer in the category of horror. Radio. Who plays Lancaster Marin in The Exorcist? Five, four, three. Repeat. Two. All right, that is your first repeat, I believe. Mm -hmm. Who plays Lancaster Marin in The Exorcist? Oh my god. I'm blanking on his name. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. No. It blank on his name. That's unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for Max von Sydow. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, with that, we'll go back. Uh, back Since they are tied, we'll go back over to John for his two-pointer in comedy. You will find the successful entertainment company Prestige Worldwide in what 2008 comedy? Step Brothers. That's correct for two points. Are they really successful yet, though, at the end of the movie? They're going to be. They're going to be. Can Question for this. Mixer. <laughs> All right, so we'll go over then to Matt's two-point question in the category of the 2010s. Who directed and starred in 2016's The Birth of a Nation? Nate Parker. That is correct for two points. All right, move on to John's three-pointer in the category in the 1980s. What is the name of the town Gremlins takes place in? I don't know. Um, Five, four, three. Forest two. Glen. That is incorrect. Uh, the correct answer we were looking for was Kingston Falls. Kingston Falls. So then, since we are tied, I believe we'll go back over to Matt for his three-pointer in comedy. Mm -hmm. This is Spinal Tap ends with the band performing sold-out shows in what country? Oh, Mike, I wish we watched this two weeks ago now. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Five, four, three. United States. Two. That is incorrect. We were looking for Japan. All right. Go over to John to take the lead in your four player. Three, three. And horror. Yes. That is what I have. Yes. All right. All right. You get this. Uh, take the lead. Okay. How specifically does the title character die at the end of Saint Maud? Jesus, on my watch list. I'm not even gonna waste any time. Um, burned at the cross. That is incorrect. Uh, the correct answer we have is uh, lights herself on fire. Damn. <laughs> is so, it on a cross, though? Should we challenge yeah. it? Should we just challenge I mean, I don't know. Should we challenge I mean, is it worthwhile to check, Coho? Uh, I'll, I'll bring in the man. Yeah, bring him in. You might as well. Like, I mean, like, the, you answered more specifically than they needed, but if you end up being right, then we might as well just challenge and see if you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll challenge for the shit. Sure. Hey, Coho, you we'll owe right that one that point <laughs> Alrighty, uh, we went back and we checked the scene again. Uh, there is no cross uh, whatsoever in the scene that uh, is described. So uh, John uh, will lose his challenge, and we will go over to Matt for his four-pointer in 2000s for his chance to win the game. But uh, if not, then uh, we will be <clears throat> moving on to the dreaded sudden death. Great. <laughs> so then you're... So then, Matt, your one or four point question, sorry, in the category of the 2000s. What political office is Liev Schreiber running for in the Manchurian candidate? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that is your second repeat. What political office is Liev Schreiber running for in the Manchurian candidate? Oh, well, it's 50 50, uh, Senator. That is incorrect. We were looking for vice president. Oh, okay. and with that, we will be moving on to sudden <clears throat> death. All right. <laughs> Let's just do a soccer style and call it a draw. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll take a draw. We'll just do a triple threat next All right. time. All righty. Here we go into sudden death. All right. Basically, it works like this. Uh, if there are any lead changes in this moment forward, we will have a winner. So both get it right. Both get it wrong. Keep going. If uh, one right, one wrong, you're out of here. All righty. Yeah. We'll get started. Your first quest. Get started with... Uh, First question in sudden death. Ooh. <laughs> All right. And the witch. There is a goat that turns out to be a demon that goes by what name? I don't even know if I really want to say that much. There's so much tension. <laughs> Five, four, three. All right, pens down. All right, go to Matt. Black Phillip. And John. Black Phillip. Both are correct. We will keep going. <clears throat> no, your next question. Let me get this one out of here. All right, we'll keep going in your next question. In Dial M for Murder, Tony used to play what sport professionally? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. Let's go to John. I think Matt wrote the same as I think I did, tennis. Yeah, Matt. Tennis. <laughs> Both are correct. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll be moving on. All righty. Duh. 
Moving on, your next question. All right. Who directed Midnight Special? Multiple choice. <laughs> Five, four, three, repeat. two. Repeat. All right. All right. It's uh, another repeat for John. Right. And uh, who directed a uh, Midnight Special? God damn it! He's gonna freaking kill me. Five, four. Three, two, one. All right. You just got me. All right. Who directed Midnight Special? Oh, I just freaking noticed. Uh. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Pens down. Pens down, Matt. Pens down, John. Sorry. All right. We'll start it off with. John. I don't know. John Matt. And Matt. The guy who directed Take Shelter. Both are incorrect. We're looking for Jeff Nichols. Oh, oh yeah. god damn it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we will. Am I out of repeats now? I, I believe you have one remaining. Okay. Thank you. That is uh, what I have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both of you have one remaining. Just let that be clear. Yeah. Both of them. Alrighty, let's keep going. What is the only film David Lynch has received a screenplay nomination? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Matt. Elephant Man. John. Mulholland Drive. And your winner, Matt. Casual Chaos Quailer. Uh, the correct answer was The Elephant Man. All right, with that, we'll move on to post match <laughs> interviews. And so we'll bring in, uh, so we'll go ahead and take out Matt and bring in uh, Mr. Caleb Coho. Uh, John, it was a good, it was a hell, hell of a match, hell of a go. You took, uh, you took a, an old vet here down to the wire, several questions deep into sudden death. Um, how do you feel? I, I feel fine. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not going to like go berserk. I made, I made mistakes. I made clear mistakes, but I think that's expected. Like I'm still really, I'm catching up to everybody. I feel I'm still catching up. So to go this far, I'm happy. I, I'm very happy with how I'm doing here and elsewhere. Uh, I'll definitely be back. I'll definitely have watched more movies by then. I don't know if I watch as many as Toho, but I'm gonna try. Yeah. No, uh, I I think that besides there's some obvious mistakes that basically ended up costing us here today. But I think today, uh, really strong game from John, uh, taking him Matt pretty deep Sunday. And you are an absolute jinx because Matt has never dropped that many questions in a round three in like all five years I've seen him play. I don't know how you keep doing this and bringing like the worst game out of everyone you play. But we got to round three down like a point, and I was like, well, shit, Matt's not going to miss. Yeah. Fucking Matt missed too. What yeah. the hell are you doing to people? He missed, he missed, I think he missed the one, three, and four, which is crazy. Yeah, this guy, yeah. this fucking guy. I don't know how you do it. It's insane. Voodoo. It's voodoo. <laughs> For real. All righty. Um, I, I believe this does end your season, Matt. Um, yeah. I'm John, but I, yeah. I know we, look, we look alike. It's fine. I get it. No, you don't. I'm it's just be, it's because our, our clear, long, shared luck. Uh, I, I'm just a goddamn fool. Uh, Who would you like to play when you come back here? Well, I do. So, I mean, I imagine, like, you know, I, I'm, what, five and two. So, somebody, I guess I'm going to play somebody good no matter what happens. So, I don't know who's, who, Co, who's around there? Who, who would you, who would Coho like to see me play? I'd like to see you play Will Cohen. That's probably not going to happen, but yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. play well. I'll play well. I, I, All right. I elsewhere. <laughs> All righty. Uh, with that, we will say goodbye to John and his manager. And uh, we will bring in tonight's winner, Matt Quaylar, and his manager, a guy who works at a 
video store. <laughs> Don't you work there too, Mark? Yeah. Mike, Mike, you're muted. <laughs> you beautiful. But the message good, is Mark, still you clear. Good juju. You got to win. <laughs> That, that 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 was a hell of a match. John definitely uh, took me to the limit there uh, when he did, uh, he kicked ass in those round two uh, and the poor anthology questions. I thought I was done for at that point. Yeah. And then fucking Max Van Saito, <laughs> uh, I thought I was done for sure at that point. But hey, I mean, hey, we're we're moving onward to the uh, sixth round of the tournament. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, it should be fun. I mean, Mike, anything else to say? <laughs> Any specials, Mike? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We got a new special just for Matt's win. You rent 12 movies. We give you half off one of them. No Max Van Saito films, though. Nah, fuck <laughs> that guy. <laughs> oh, putting the curse on Max Van Saito. <laughs> well, uh, I, I had been told from the powers of B that uh, you will now be in a match with Andrew Barr. Oh. So, uh, well, shit. Tim and Nick pretty much kicked their ass. They almost, <laughs> did well, you know, Matt should have no fucking problem with the fucking guy from the bar. Yeah, we should do, we should do a fandom style. <laughs> <laughs> Put us on the same level. But yeah, that should be fun. I mean, uh, Barr already kind of uh, paused me out of this tournament once. So uh, we'll see if he can knock me out of it again. All righty. Well, with that, we'll see you next time, Matt. And I'm pretty sure we'll see you again, uh, Mr. Mike. All righty. Ah, it was a great match. Not sure there's much else to say, but Dylan, why don't you go ahead and put a bow on this one for us? Yeah, solid match. I mean, yeah, it was it was tough. I mean, some very difficult questions asked today. And yeah, a lot of bad luck, it seems. But, you know, I think they both showed just how like evenly matched these guys are. And yeah, whenever it goes that deep into sudden death, it, it it's always a pretty pretty thrilling match. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah both, both players showed a lot of grit today, and it'll be fun to watch them off in the future. All right. That will be us for today, uh, this episode of Multiplex Movie Warzone. I'd like to thank uh, today's competitors, uh, Matt Quaylar and uh, John Marr, as well as their managers, Mike Hanley and Caleb Coho, and everybody here at Multiplex Entertainment who... Make sure that this match and make sure all these matches go on without a hitch. And uh, over here is my partner in crime, Dylan Vanthine. And uh, we like to thank you guys for watching. Until next time, be good. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Give it take a Bye.